Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a functional equation. We have f of x plus x times f of x plus 1 over x minus 1 equals x squared, and we're trying to evaluate f of 3. So to find f of 3 first, I'm going to replace x with 3. That gives me f of 3 plus 3 times f of 3 plus 1 divided by 3 minus 1. That gives me 4 over 2, which is 2. So that is going to be f of 2 equals 3 squared, which is 9. Great. So I got an equation. I'm trying to find f of 3, but I also have to deal with f of 2. So why not replace x with 2? And then if you do that, you're going to get a similar equation, but it's going to be slightly different. So you're going to have f of 2 if you replace x with 2 here and here, and here, and here, and here. You're going to get f of 2 plus 2 times f of 2 plus 1 divided by 2 minus 1. 2 plus 1 is 3 divided by 1. That's going to give you f of 3. Obviously, that's not a coincidence. It's on purpose. And on the right-hand side, you're going to get x squared, which is 4. So, we got an equation with two variables. So, we can solve it, right? By elimination. So, let's go ahead and do the following. And by the way, why did this come up? Like when I replaced x with 3, I got f of 2 and f of 3. When I did replace x with 2, I got f of 2 and f of 3. The reason why this works is because these two functions are actually related. Or if you look at this function in particular, the inverse of this function is actually equal to itself. So when you, comp when you compose, let's call this function g of x, when you compose g with itself, you're going to get the identity function. That's how it works. In other words, if you replace x with x plus 1 over x minus 1 here, this should give you f of x. You can test it out. Anyways, so how do you solve for f of 3? You want to get rid of f of 2. So let's go ahead and do this. First of all, clear these. And then, since I want to get rid of f of 2, it makes sense if I multiply the second equation by negative 3. Of course, we have to do it everywhere. So let's do it. Negative 3 f of 2 minus 6 f of 3. You have to distribute the negative 3, basically. It equals negative 12. And this is my second equation. And this is my first equation. So I modify the second equation to eliminate f of 2. And then I'm just going to use the first equation as is, which is f of 3 plus 3 times f of 2 equals 9. So this is my first equation. And you can call this the third equation if you want. So I'm now working with 1 and 3. Now we're going to go ahead and add these equations up. And that's going to give us f of 3 because 3f three of 2 and negative 3f of 2 are going to cancel out. That is called elimination. f of 3 minus 6f of 3, this is 1f of 3, is going to become negative 5f of 3 equals negative 12 plus 9. This is addition, remember. That is going to be negative 3. If you divide both sides by negative 5, you're going to get f of 3 equals 3 over 5. And that will be the answer. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.